Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Chris coming to you here with week three of our disc golf series. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the five basic throws uh, when it comes to disc golf. The backhand, the forehand, overhand throws, hyzer throws, and anhyzer throws. Uh, I want to just mention there's a ton of really good videos out there of pro players showing form and things like that. I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the basic uh, fundamentals and maybe some mistakes that we see a lot of times with beginners. So first thing I want to talk about, which is one of the most important parts of this, is your grip. Um, typically if you're used to throwing a regular frisbee, a lot of times what you'll see is people have their index finger out on the ridge of the disc. And while that's fine when you're throwing a regular ultimate frisbee, because it's really just about your flicking of the wrist to get the power you need, in disc golf you really want to get out of the mindset of having your index finger out. So what that means is you got to figure out, to, you got to get your fingers under the disc. Um, there's really two basic grips when it comes to the backhand throw. First is just what we call, a I call it a modified fan grip. My fingers are fanned out under the edge of the disc with maybe my index finger pinched and my pinky finger pinched on the lip. The other two are fanned and then my top finger is right around the ridge of the disc right there. Um, and that's typically the way that I throw. That's where I feel like I have the most control. The other grip is what we call a power grip. And that's really when all four of your fingers are pinched under the lip of the disc like that. And again, you have your top finger somewhere in the similar place. And this is what you'll see a lot of your pro level players do and a lot of players in general. It's to get the most power and snap out of the disc when you're throwing it. So one of the things about disc golf is everyone's going to figure out what works the best for them. So you want to play around with those two different grips. As far as the backhand, once you figure out what is the best grip for you, uh, another thing I want that's really important is it really is a full body motion when it comes to getting the snap and power that you need to generate to throw these discs the way that they're meant to fly. So it's not like just a little flip of the wrist to throw it out there. You are really getting a pull on the disc. And what I mean by pull is I am reaching back and almost turning my head away from my target. If my target is this way, I am reaching back. I'm turning my head away. I'm leading with my elbow and generating force and I'm powering through and rotating my hips and torso to help generate enough power to really get that disc to fly. Um, and again, with a backhand, that's going to be something where I'm turning away, snapping through, boom, pulling it really hard, trying to get it to fly as far as I can. This goes back to the second video when we talk about stability of the discs and how they might fly for you. So again, if you haven't seen that, it's important to understand that first. The second typical throw is what's called a forehand or a flick. And where a backhand, I'm leading with the back of my hand, with a forehand, I'm actually leading with the front of my hand and flicking the disc this way. Um, so again, it'd be, be doing it this way, I guess. Grip. Uh, typical grip that what you'll see, there's a couple different grips. I call it a pistol grip. If you think about making a pistol with your hand, I got the bottom of the disc here. I'm putting my two fingers right on the lip of the disc, getting a good hold of it. Then I'm getting my index finger up on that edge with these two fingers kind of here to help support it. And the key with the flick or the forehand is it's not a big winding motion like you think of a sidearm pitcher. You're really, it's more compact. Elbows kind of tucked in near the body and you're coming through and you're snapping that thing, snapping that disc forward. And when you release the disc, your hand should be pointing up or kind of shaking hands with your target. If you see your hand coming over here and you're trying to do that forehand flick, if, I, if my hand releases to the outside, the disc is gonna follow that. It's gonna go that way. So again, it's really compact. It's a snap of the wrist, and I finish it with my hand up. That's the forehand or the flick. Uh, the third, third th th throws I wanna talk about is the overhand throws. These probably aren't used quite as much, at least for me, it's more of something that if you're in trouble and need to go up over an object, you might try. Um, but there's folks who have really powerful arms that can throw overhand shots 350, 400 feet or more. And there's two basic overhand shots. There's a tomahawk and what we call a thumber. 
and it's basically just about the grip and how that looks. For a tomahawk, if I take the outside edge of the disc, turn it away from me, I'm grabbing it almost like a flick with that pistol grip, like this, and it's an overhand throw, so I'm bringing it back, and I'm actually releasing it up overhand with the disc inverted, maybe a little left, but more close to center, and what's gonna happen is when the disc is, when I release that, that disc is gonna fly out, it's gonna initially bend out to the right, come back to the left. It'll be the opposite for a thumber. A thumber, I'm gonna take the inside of the disc and I'm gonna grab it with my thumb like this, really pinch down on that edge, a couple fingers on the outside to support it. It's the exact same motion, but again, now the dome of the disc is the opposite way. I'm gonna release it, it's gonna flatten out in the air, go out left, and finish right. So again, we have a tomahawk, where it's gonna go out this way and finish left. And we have a thumber, it's gonna go out to the left and finish right. Um, the last two throws that are typical are what we call a hyzer throw or an anhyzer throw. So you've got your backhand, your forehand, and your overhead shots, which is your thumber and your tomahawk. The last two are hyzer and anhyzer. And this is really just about the angle you release the disc on. A hyzer for a backhand right-handed player means that typically when I'm throwing my disc, I'm coming through, I'm pulling straight through and trying to release the disc fairly flat. But if I want to make a disc hook hard to the left, I might release it more on a hyzer angle or throw a hyzer shot. And all that is, is instead of coming through and going flat, I'm coming through and I'm releasing the disc with the outside edge down and away from me and the disc is gonna fly and hook left, right? So that's the hyzer shot. Now, this is pretty helpful because I can throw it up in the air higher and hyzer back down. I can throw low and try to get it to skip off the ground. Uh, it's just another way to manipulate the flight pattern of your disc. The opposite is the anhyzer. So all I'm doing there is, again, instead of coming through and throwing flat, when I do a hyzer, I'm here. When I do an anhyzer, I'm here, right? I'm coming through, I'm higher, and I'm releasing the disc here. And what that's making the disc do is turn over to the right, potentially finish out that way. A real stable or overstable disc will start to flatten out and maybe even hook back a little bit to the left. But it's really about the different ways that you can manipulate the flight of the disc. Um, so again, those throws it one more time. The backhand, it's really about the power, snapping it through. You got your forehand, Finishing with your wrist up, pointing up to the sky or shaking hands. Got our thumber, got our tomahawk, our hyzer angle, and our anhyzer angle. I'd really recommend going out and looking at some of the top, throw, top pros on YouTube and seeing them how they're throwing these shots, but it's really about getting out there and practicing them. Remember, the grip is really important. Don't get that index finger underneath the edge of the disc. If you start to practice some of these things, it'll feel more comfortable to you, and you'd be surprised. You can improve really quickly in disc golf. So get out there and throw some Frisbees. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.